that as an online tournament with Vi and them. Nice, yeah. Well, I'll tell you that story. It's kind of funny. I'll end with that. <laughs> but we're moving into the next match here. Nice guy, Rai, the you know the people's champion, uh, the TO for Smash It Church versus Lamp, and Lamp going all of our and nice guy, Rai with the pack of Mario. So Rai, yeah, Smash It Church is a great event. So shout out to shout out to Rai, dude, yeah. coming out. Supporting the other um, local events as well. Yeah, the one venue that I can just go off and start th throwing out as many biblical illusion puns as I can and commentate, you know, commentating and have it be actually appropriate. Because there's, there's only been on. one uh, Smash Church for Ultimate, right? To my understanding. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, I mean, ho hopefully, I'm pretty sure Nice Guy Riot has another one cooking up, planned up for, for us in Ultimate. But yeah, I mean, shout out to him. And it's like he's rocking the Mario against Lamp Olimar. I'm not sure how this matchup, you know, like what or what the who has advantage disadvantage in this. I know, you know, historically it's been a, a matchup that Mario has been an enigma, but usually done pretty well in, especially with a lot of the projectile properties of the Pikmin and things like that. And right. Keep being able to reflect them are kind of always a trump card in the back pocket, and as well as like the aerial frame data kind of messing uh, Almar up. But in this game, Almar is a whole different animal. And, as you can see, uh, Lamp battling all the way back after a quick early lead for for Nice Guy Rai. Ooh, beautiful deck by Rai here, trying to get this stock. And Rai had a very nice lead, but yeah, so far Lamp has just brought it back. But 150%, you are not teching that, sir. You are dead, unteched. And let's see if he's able to tack on a little bit of lead. Is that a blue grab? Yep, there it is. It was the up throw. Up we and go. We're, we're square neutral. Uh, right back to even. And nice guy, right, trying to pick. Oh, he got the uh, forward air, but Lamp saw it and whistled right through it. I'm not sure if that was worth the uh, worth the trade, though, you know, because he had, he had to know that the affair uh, was coming. And then decide, I'm going to whistle it. I'll take the damage and, you know, get the super armor. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not sure if the position was worth it or the damage was worth it in that situation. Uh, so far, right now sitting at 70%, having a little trouble getting in. But the one thing about Omar too is when you do get in, you got to make it count. Um, definitely doesn't have like the best options for disadvantage. Right, especially off stage in this situation, it could be nice guy rise time to capitalize. And uh, yeah, you know, it's just that's that's your opportunity, right? It's so hard in the neutral to break through the Omar wall, but. Once you do and you get him off stage, that, that's where you have to take your opportunity to shine. And right now it's the reverse. Lamp has him off stage and, oh, missed edge guard. That was really smart by Rai. He saw the purple coming at him and he just upbeat through it to give himself a hitbox. So really, really smart. But the forward smash, the yellow forward smash that will go ahead and seal out that second stock here for Lamp. Clears out so much space and the lamps off stage. This could be nice guy's rise off or nice guy rise opportunity to take it back, but he missed that up with the up special. Super yeah. jump needs to connect. Right, trying to steal out the stock. Can't blame him for sure. I mean, he, he's down a stock. He doesn't want to take too much damage before coming into this last stock. But man, it just looks like lamp is being so slippery right now. Yeah, you can feel the the tension kind of rising on. Uh, right play just a little bit. Gets the up smash and cleans it up, and he's down only 72%. That's something that can be made up, but it's going to be difficult, especially against Olimar, especially an Olimar that's playing sli uh, safe and slippery, like you were saying, like Lamp has been for this entire match. Oh, wow, but there goes Lamp's purple. It's a really big deal, keeping the purples on the lineup. Definitely the uh, strongest overall big man for sure. Okay, going high here, and right now, I mean, at least Rai did get him down to his last stock here, but it, this percent de deficit looks so, so difficult. But Mario is a combo character, so if Rai can get something started or get a very nasty edge guard here, he can definitely turn this around. Yeah, yeah, you can see a little bit of presence of mind there from Lamp. He was off stage and you saw, you know, Rai go for that for that bowl, you know, drops him forward air. But Lamp went high because he knows the only high reward play that uh, that Rai really has is that forward air to spike him. So he's just removing that from the situation, saying, I'll take the up air and just, uh, you know, make sure nothing really terrible happens. Yep, Rai trying to get his way back to center stage here. Lamp doing such a good job of controlling everything, but Rai oh! gets an opening. Oh, wow. he got it! Wow. <laughs> what a call out. Rai just hits the floor throw and just super hard read that he's just gonna jump and calls him out so hard, wow. Yeah, and that time he didn't go high, he went kind of, you know, maybe he looked like he got caught in between a little bit, went medium high, then it's like a nice fastball right down the middle and slam dunk coming up, baseball to a basketball metaphor right there, but slam dunk coming out from Rye and 
as if just grasping victory from the jaws of defeat. He's sitting up 1-0, kind of a little bit of uh, frustration on Lamp's part for sure. I'd be frustrated too, man. If I controlled the match the entire time and I just get dunked on at the end at the buzzer. Yeah, you got to be careful. You got to be aware of your opponent's outs there. And that was definitely rise out in that first game. <laughs> They're talking about Pokemon Stadium 1. Maybe they're trying to gentleman to it. Because I think PS2 is the, the legal stage here, uh, you know, uh, for the SoCal recommended rule set. Also, been interesting. We've seen some, you know, some majors uh, starting to run that. I think Pound had Pokemon Stadium yeah, 1. Yeah, Pound had Pokemon Stadium 1. Yeah, and it, I mean, Pound was a great tournament. It ran really well, so. And I don't think anyone had, like, disputes about Pokemon Stadium 1. I feel like the, the changes are so minuscule. Yeah. I think it's, it's one of those tra uh, trademark, or, Trades back and forth, right? You have one. Pokemon Stadium 2, it's generally, I would say, a better stage for gameplay. Right. Except for the really distracting TV in the background that yeah, some of the players can, you know, complain about. But on Pokemon Stadium 1, it doesn't have the TV. But when it comes to ledge play, the stage actually blocks your view of your opponent when you're in edge guard situations. So it's kind of, you know, take your opposing. We need, to, we need to get the developers to make Pokemon Stadium 3 that has the not distracting TV and the uh, ledge that you can see. And, Right in there. And speaking of right in there, got a character switch from Rai even after the win, you know? That's, that's a sign of respect, right? You, you win the game, but you still are like, man, maybe I should have lost that. Maybe let me switch up my character and see if this goes a little bit better. Oh, yeah. He definitely uh, he definitely squeezed it out that one. But, uh, wow, the Dark Pit is working a lot, a lot better than the uh, first game. Lamp only dealing out 35% on this first stock. Might be a little bit of unfamiliarity with, uh, you know, with the... Uh, it's it has Dark Pit, I saw the purple arrows. It's Dark Pit. Um, not a very common character played nowadays. It's definitely not as common as Mario, for sure. Oh, yeah. For sure. yeah. Uh, the Pits, uh, I don't know, there's some talk about them possibly being good, but it, it just seems like they kind of fell through the meta. Yeah. Did not follow through. And, uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of the top players didn't end up picking them up. I know Larry was thinking about it and some other players, but... Yeah, just just ended up not really committing to the game. Yeah, it's definitely early. People saw the neutral air, and then they realized that Palutena has like the same neutral air with a lot better stuff, pretty yeah. much overall. I think he definitely falls into the uh, there's a top tier that does it better than me. Guys. Right. And then right back into it, and yeah, just Rai putting on all the pressure. It's as if that one slam dunk is just kind of really torn apart Lamp's uh, Lamp's ability to hold it together. But he is good that up smash and keeps himself in this game. Let's see if he's able to make a comeback because, you know, Almar is that character that can put on a lot of damage quickly. Ooh. But damn, it doesn't matter if you get forward aired off stage. The deep edge guard coming out from Nice Guy right at forward air. Very good for edge guarding. I mean, it has that disjoint as well. So we saw Nice Guy right able to reach out and get that stock. And maybe that's why he switched to the dark pit. You know, you have multiple jumps. You have the arrows, the pressure, uh, Almar off stage as well. And it's definitely working out for him. And he's got the juggle situation, the damage is just racking up. Oh wow, did it reflect the purple? Yeah, reflecting Match up the purple, knowledge? Yeah, <laughs> reflecting the purple off stage is actually like really close to yeah. cool. um, you're, you're, Like if you can kill purple for three, that's so good. And wow, the side view just killing the purple straight up off the damage. Yeah, nice guy, Rai. Uh, definitely looking like he knew something that we didn't, or at least I didn't. And just, uh, you know, some of that match up knowledge, the little intricacies. Yeah, it's, especially if it's a, with an uncommon character and you're playing a top tier, sometimes you just got to take people's best shots and you get hit by things you didn't know existed. And look at these arrows, they're doing so much damage. And he just does not care that these Pikmin are ticking on him. The up smash will catch that high recovery and Nice Guy Rai will take it over lamp 2-0 with the dark picks. Like like out last game standing. number two in terms of picks. Yeah, I mean, he won the game solid two star. Right, that was just a, a complete turnaround. Uh, you know, I'm not sure. It might have been just the player download too. It could have been that, or it could be the character, or a little bit of both. Right. It's always hard to say. You know, scoot down. Oh no, I, uh, I gotta. Oh yeah, yeah, gotta go. yeah, I gotta head out. Uh, I have a business meeting to attend to. Thank you so much, Crane, for letting me cameo appearance on here. Let's see if we can't get you another commentator. If you liked it, CT Lux. Uh, follow me. Don't follow me. It's all good. But.